Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Anderson's TV. This is a, this is a cool video. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see at the um, end. Very recently, Boss released their new generation of guitar amplifiers, the Next Tone uh, guitar amplifiers. And I'm sure if you're interested in this kind of technology, you've gone off and watched a video where they talk about the spec and <gasps> all the clever stuff and all that kind of... Maybe you Maybe saw a video really with Pete it. and Chris Buck <laughs> in there. Hey. So we're not going to do a very spec-laden video. Spec-laden? Spec-laden. Spec-laden. So uh, I went there on holiday once. It's a beautiful place in Bavaria. <laughs> spec-laden. Spec-laden. Um, <laughs> For me, kind of one of the key features of Nextone is this very bold claim that they've made. So it's a, it's not a tube amplifier. It's a new generation of sort of solid state kind of modeling digital, you know, I think although they is say it's not. Is there tube logic? It's is, tube is logic. There, is there tube logic? So they make a very bold claim that there's a switch over on the uh, right hand side of the amplifier. Are you struggling right. there? Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> just going to take this off uh, in case and people it, want uh, to see what it says on here. And one of the modes, one of the things you can switch between very, very quickly are the four power amp Yeah, which are all uh, emulations. Analog, a, it's analog AB circuits okay, in here. So cool. you have to, yeah, that is so analog. So they claim one sounds like a 6L6, a loaded amp, one 6V6, one EL34, and one EL84. So yeah. what you're going to hear in this video are a set of comparisons where Pete's going to play through uh, the next tone and through an amp, that a tube amplifier that genuinely has those output tubes. So in the room here we've got a Hot Rod Deluxe to do the 6L6, we've got an AC30, a single 112 AC30 to do the EL84s, we've got a Marshall DSL40 to do the EL34s, and we've got a Fender Princeton to do the 6 v 6 yeah. Now here's the kicker. Kicker! We are not going to tell you in this video which one you're hearing. All you're going to see is a green light for one of them and a red light for the other. And then we will tell you in the description below which light equals which amp. So what we're asking you to do in this video is not to read the description until you get yeah. to the end. I mean, 99% so of people don't read it anyway. That's very true. 99% <laughs> of people won't even be watching the video still. They'll be bored and have switched off. They're going to be watching something else. Like, uh, go on, anyway. Go on yeah. traffic and have a little drive. Uh, so... Anyway, that so that's it. So uh, this, just in case you're wearing the blue, this is like a, a mute thing, so we won't be using this one. So red will be one amp, green will be the other, and as I said, we'll put in the description below. And what you'll hear is a clean tone, a, my, a dirty tone, and maybe a pedal tone, again, through each amplifier. Anyway, enough talking, Pete. Do you understand your challenge? No, not at all, but okay. I'll, you just want me to play, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's that guitar? It's an asset special. Do you why, know? Why is, it, why is it special? It, these pickups. No, but why is it special to you? Because it's my guitar. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, it's a anyway. very, very cool guitar. So, and I like it very uh, much. I'm not going to tell you which is red and which is green, uh, but we will start with green. And here is a clean tone G uh, out of potentially could be a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe yep. or it could be a Next Tone Artist. Uh, artist. 80 watt. Artist. It's a G chord. <laughs> I should say, the reverbs that you hear are always going to be the reverbs from the amps, yeah. so we're not using that. And I just add, you can, there's an editor for this, where you can go in and change the reverb, plate, hall and spring. There's a set to spring, we're not using the EQ, it's all just a... We're not using the editor at all No, we're, not we're just using, using the, the knobs yeah. on top of it. There's no when noise, you noise gate, it's off all of that stuff. So Perfect. Completely. So just have some more like yeah. uh, so no, like country that was kind just of like, playing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so back to the green amp. Yeah.
Well done. Cool. Okay. Now we're going to go over to the <laughs> well, crunchy sounds. Oh, oh we're going to oh, do it from here. We got We've got the, I yep. uh, can't remember what it's called, but the, the optional extra footboard. Let me hold that up. Footboard? It's a G, it's That's a G, a name, what's is it, it called? It's a G, is it the same uh, one you can use with Katana? G-A-F-C, yeah, so yes. you get stickers. You get the stickers you can put on here. G-A-F-C, Gillingham Athletic Football Club. Seven. I made that up. FC. Uh, right, Not so, seven. and we're FC. using the cameras over here, so you can see the EQ settings we've got on each, or the knob placement on each Hello. of these amplifiers. So we're using the yellow gain on this amplifier and just the normal gain on this and anyway as i said you don't know which one is green and which one is red uh, here we go guess away <laughs> Insertion. Uh, we're going to play this with the excellent and recent award-winning uh, <laughs> The Dane Pedal. Over a clean tone or over those slightly driven tones? Uh, clean tone, please. Okay. So uh, uh, Right, this could be, this is one of the amp with some Dane. Another M. So that's Ooh, the end the of challenge, the 6L6 challenge. Which did you think was the green M? Which did you think was the red M? Check in the description below, but no cheating. Wait till no. the video's ended. Yeah. Comment first, then check. Okay. Yay! Here we oh. go. So the next tone is now on its EL84 mode, and we've tweaked it a little bit. And we have a Vox AC30. It's one of the new AC30s released earlier this year that just has a single 12-inch speaker in it. Um, yes. There we, go. Uh, there we go. And again, I'm not telling you which is green and which is red, but maestro, please. Still called back. So now we're going to gun the drive channels of the amplifiers a little bit. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. No pedals, just gunned a bit. Gunned a bit, like man. <laughs> Woo! 
Ooh. What do you want to do? Yeah, Back another to, one, another one. Another one. Back to the other one. Okay. <laughs> To a cleanish, can you put this back on the clean channel? Clean, okay, right. And now, with, with some green. sprinkling of uh, denage, <laughs> denage on the drive side green. of the Dane. For test again uh, in the comment section below without cheating. Did you think the green one was the Vox or did you think the red one was the Vox? And by virtue of that, which one was the next tone? Tight, tight, furiously. Tight. <laughs> okay, okay sorry, welcome just, back, part just, trois. Sorry, I'm just laughing a bit. We are laughing. Yeah. We're sick. Basically, what happens is we just write lyrics to all the different riffs that. Pete pays, but they're all uh, utterly inappropriate for YouTube lands. Right, um, six V six mode. Uh, I haven't really talked much about what you know valves are sort of supposed to do, but six V six typically would have been the lower powered, uh, clean Fendery kind of sounding amp. So we have a Princeton reverb. Yeah. And uh, the next tone on its 6v6 mode. But Is it as just worth always, saying that we're running this on max all the way through? All the way through. Okay, because the because. Solid state and or the tube logic or whatever, mm. whatever, it's not the same as tubes yeah. power. So we should be, say, yeah, like, I think we, it's probably as a mild interlude in the middle here, sort of going, some of the valve amplifiers that we've tried here kind of felt like they wanted to sort of be turned up a bit yeah, more. Yeah, they needed a bit more to but, it, but we're trying to keep this at sort of a fair, we're not quiet, quiet in here. We're no. not sort of like jammy kind of levels, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. Uh, but yes, I think you. We, we're definitely, the, the next tone's got, you could have that down to super bedroom level, which you can't really do with many of the valve amps. Yeah. Although, actually, with the Princeton, you probably could. Hey, enough talking. Let's play. Let's play. Which amp is the green one? <laughs> It's a great tone. <laughs> Very close. Because the Princeton doesn't really have a kind of a gainy channel, I mean, you can turn it up and get some distortion. The gain. We aren't going to do that. We're just going to go straight now into using the pedal yep. over the same settings we've currently got. So here's the green amp with the Dane. <laughs> Well, 
similar, man. They sound great. They're they both very, sound good. Some, don't both of those sound really similar. So there we go. No cheating. Comment. Where's Rob? Where's Rob? Where's Rob? Yeah. <laughs> Rebuke could do so much better. <laughs> Type like a dinosaur <laughs> and be angry at the same time. Um, hey, what does that T-shirt mean? Uh, cool, cool, cool as, as, as a, a French seal. seal. Cool as a seal. Cool as a. F- All you clever people out there with GCSE French will get the gag. Or will they? Will they just have forgotten? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, right. Last. Let's do the Marshall. So, uh, part four of this video. Yeah. Uh, Marshall DSL 40, 1x12, EL 34s, uh, next tone on its EL 34 mode. Clean sound, don't normally associate Marshalls with big clean sounds, no. unless of course you're talking about JTM 45s, in which case you do. Well, that's the JTM 45 which, on the picture uh, yes. of the thingy. So, so maybe, which is the green it. amp and which is the red amp, you decide. Or if you want to cheat, just read the description underneath this video, furiously. Here we go. Gonna play something. On the amps or back yeah, to the no, just back Oh, that had a moment of a confused uh, what, 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 uh, moment there. Ultra gain on uh, the Marshall and lead on the next tone, but which is which? You decide, uh, here's a decal. They're pretty similar. Now we're going to go back to the clean channels. Um, I mean, I thought and play it with the and Dane. The, and with the Dane, I thought the the Princeton and Necton was similar. This is similar as well. This is very very similar. Wow. But here is the Dane into the green amp into the green. Let's get some vein with the Dane and hay in the wood. Without with. Amp. 
There we go. There you go, guys. Yeah. Um, that was it. That's it. I should just say uh, we chose the the bigger of the next tone amplifiers, not the artist, uh, purely and simply because it's in the bigger cabinet, uh, and it, all of it's the, eighty watts as well. Just to yeah. Although we weren't, in. we were running it up against similar sized one twelve combos. Yeah. I didn't, and I thought that the smaller one because it it, it uh, the smaller cabinet. Um, is uh, will sound a little bit less bassy. Yeah. Um, so we, that's why we use the bigger one. But all the features in the smaller one are the same. Yeah, we the edit is the same. Again, you can absolutely on the next tone, you can plug your computer in, you can edit stuff, you yeah. can use the multi-foot switch, it does It's stuff. much more simple. The editor is much more simple as well, you know, with your custom channel Compared select. Compared to what? But, Katana, uh, you mean? The Katana editor. Right. So, so there's not as many features in there. It's only three reverbs and a couple of overdrive pedals. Mm. And But you can choose the power sex. You can set all that up inside. But, you know, it's... Money-wise, uh, yeah, if but, I remember rightly, money-wise, the artist is probably similar kind of dough to most of the amps These are all we about five, six, seven hundred Maybe the, the, the Princeton, Princeton was probably the, the dearest one because it's the... Uh, it was the American one, wasn't yeah. it? But, but, hey, they're not... Don't get me, next tone's not like cheap, cheap, like Katana. It's kind of like, it's just sort of mid-price amp. Yeah. But you do kind uh, of get four amps in one because it is analog circuitry. Or do you? I mean, that's for you to decide. I what mean, two of want? these sounded, if I had to pick two, the Princeton and the Marshall was very close. Mm. In my ears, in the room, what you're hearing out there might be yeah. very, very the different. The only one for me, which I felt was a difficult comparison was I felt the Vox just the valve amp, the Vox just wanted to go, please. Yeah. Turn me up, uh, baby. Turn and me we up. were doing the comparison with the Vox on like a very low volume. Yeah, that setting. needs a bit more power. But, but hey, but, maybe we know. should have used an AC15, I don't know. But look, yeah, you decide. You know, it's, um, I, what I like with these kind of videos is we're not here to try and promote uh, anything other than Anderson's, obviously. Well, we just yeah. want to do the best demo come we can. These are all in stock, so come and try them out. And we all know a guy who likes tube in his amp. <laughs> we all <laughs> know a guy who's a little bit. So there you go. So we all know a guy who likes tube in his amp. You know, I like tubes in my amp, but actually, this is really good. It's when, well, when you play. Is you, this going to be compare... your next tone? <laughs> <laughs> we said we wouldn't talk. And we we just, said we wouldn't we, talk, we but actually what we conclude in this video is that just go and buy a Dane pedal because it makes everything sound good. That's exactly the correct message. Yeah. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to just 10, 9 and then to 1, just go all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>